Muscle Fiber Types Let's take a look at the skeletal muscles. These muscles consist of primarily three types of muscle fibers that can be classified based on two criteria. One, how fast do the fibers contract relative to others? Two, how do the fibers regenerate energy? Type 1 fibers are known as slow oxidative or twitch fibers. These fibers contract relatively slowly and have a high number of mitochondria within each cell that uses oxygen to produce energy known as adenosine triphosphate, ATP. They produce low power contractions over long periods of time and are slow to fatigue. Because slow twitch fibers function for long periods without fatiguing, they are used during low intensity activities such as maintaining posture and stabilizing bones. Type 2A fibers are known as fast oxidative fibers, sometimes called intermediate fibers because they possess intermediate features between fast and slow fibers. These fibers have fast contractions and usually use a combination of oxygen and glucose as a source of energy. This combination allows type 2A muscles to contract quickly and produce a higher force than type 1 muscles. Because type 2A fibers aren't resistant to fatigue as type 1 fibers, they are used during various aerobic exercises such as walking or jogging, which require more energy than postural control, but less energy than an explosive movement such as sprinting. Type 2B fibers are known as fast glycolytic fibers or fast twitch fibers. These 2B fibers have fast contractions and primarily use anaerobic glycolysis as their ATP source. Type 2B fibers fatigue more quickly than the others. They have a large diameter and possess high amounts of glycogen, which is used in glycolysis to generate ATP quickly to produce high levels of tension. Because type 2B fibers produce the highest amount of force, they are used during high-impact, heavy-resistance activities such as weightlifting and sprinting. The downside is that the type 2B fibers fatigue quickly and will burn out after 15 to 30 seconds. All three muscle types always work together in each activity, but the scope changes depending on which activity you do. If you're doing a low-intensity activity, most of the fibers will be type 1, but if you're sprinting, most will be type 2. To minimize the amount of fatigue, the body first recruits the type 1 slow-twitch fibers. After those fibers are maxed out, the 2A fibers will be recruited and then type 2B. This is known as Henneman's size principle. It helps the body avoid fatigue by using no more force than necessary to complete a movement. This table summarizes the different characteristics of the three types of muscle fibers.